Well, good evening. Welcome to Capstone Church. My name is Michaela Edwards. I'm the worship leader here at Capstone. It's been an honor partnering with uh, Nick Joy and Chris Barnett, the Point Church, and Dr. Noble with Kingdom Community Church. We're so excited you're here. We're so excited to worship, to honor the Lord with our worship for what he's done. So we remember that as we start our service tonight. Mark 10, 32 34, through 34 says, They were on their way up to Jerusalem with Jesus leading the way. And the disciples were astonished with those who followed. They were afraid. Again, he took the 12 aside and took them and told them what was going to happen to him. We're going up to Jerusalem, he said. And the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and the teachers of the law. They will condemn him, condemn him to death and he will hand him over to the Gentiles who will mock him and spit on him flog him and kill him. Three days later, he will rise. Would you stand as we remember what all Christ has done for us as we worship? Thank you. 
Calvary, where Jesus bled and died for me, I see his wounds, his hands, his feet, my Savior on that
strong in our witness day. Your constant in our witness day. And I'm confident that I'll see it again. In you love and I witness day. How you love me. You heal and I witness day. God, you say. a seat for just a moment if you'd like to. If we're not careful, we can mistakenly assume and think that God owes us something, that we deserve the blessings that God has given to us, that for some reason we deserve God's favor. In the book of Romans, throughout the book, but particularly in Romans chapter 5, the Apostle Paul sets the record straight. Notice as I read from Romans 5, verses 6 through 11, notice who we are. Notice how we're described. And notice what Christ has done. For while we were still weak, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. For one will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person, one would dare even to die. But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since therefore we have now been justified by his blood, much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God. For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more, 
Now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life? More than that, we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. Did you hear who we are? While we were weak, we could do nothing. While we were sinners, separated from God, enemies to God, while we were his enemies in animosity and hostility towards God, in spite of all of those inadequacies on our behalf, we are reconciled with God. Three times in the scripture passage, we're told that we are reconciled. How are we reconciled when we are so sinful, so separate from God? It's because of the death of his son. We were reconciled to God by the death of his son. While we were weak, he was strong. While we were sinners, he was righteous. While we were enemies, separated from God, he was one united with God. Good Friday wrecks our pride by reminding us that reconciliation only occurs through Christ's redemptive sacrifice on the cross. Let's pray together as we continue in worship. Thank you, Father, for your word that reminds us of who we are. Thank you, Father, for your word that reminds us that while we were separated from you, you sent your son to die on the cross for us. God, we celebrate Good Friday because we celebrate what you've done, not what we've done, not our actions, but, Father, what you did for us through Christ. Guide us, O oh God, as we continue to worship. It's in the precious name of our Savior. Amen.
Christ is my firm foundation. Christ is my firm foundation. The rock on which I stand when everything around me is shaken. I've never been more glad that I put my faith in Jesus. Cause he's
Isaiah 53, 3 through 5 says, He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And as one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his wounds we are healed. The cross was designed to be one of the most humiliating and painful deaths there was, meant solely for criminals, the worst of the worst. And yet Jesus Christ, God as man, that was what he suffered because of each and every one of us. We could never pay that price. And so God took it upon himself as his will to die for our sins. How amazing is that? It's impossible to understand. But here we are because he died and here we are because he lives so let's sing as we continue to meditate and respond to that
your cross. Your cross, my freedom, your strife, my healing, all praise. Keep Jesus, glory to God in heaven. Your blood, still speaking, your love, still reaching, all praise. Keep Jesus, glory to God in
respond and we say thank you to our Savior for being the ultimate sacrifice.
How many of you are thankful for the blood of Jesus? How many of you are celebrating God for his blood tonight? Anybody want to say shout and glory to his name? Glory to his name, that name that is above every name, that name that at every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess, that name, y'all know that name, Mary's baby, that name, that name that walked on water, that name, praise God, come on, give God glory in the house today for the name of Jesus Christ. And we're thankful today for this Good Friday. But what's so good about Good Friday? I mean, 2,000 years ago, it was a dark day for our Lord. It was a time when he knew that he would go to an old rugged cross. It was a dark day. And so what's so good about Good Friday? Well, it was the time when God demonstrated his love toward us. As we read in John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Verse 18, whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only son of God. God did displayed his love toward us on Good Friday. God's love is special. It's special because it's unconditional. That word love is the agape word, means unconditional. So regardless of what you and I do, God still loves us. His love is unconditional. We, we can't do anything to make him love us more. And we cannot do some things where he will love us less. His love for us is unconditional. And when Jesus went to the cross, he demonstrated God's unconditional love for us. But God's love is not only unconditional, but his love is unique. It's because the Bible says that he gave his only son. It means that there was no one like him no one else like him could go to the cross and die. You see, Noah couldn't do it. Moses couldn't do it. Elijah couldn't do it. David, King David, he couldn't do it. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they couldn't do it. The great preacher himself, the Apostle Paul, he couldn't do it. Buddha couldn't do it. Confucius couldn't do it. Muhammad couldn't do it. Only Jesus could go to the cross and die for our sins. He was unique. There's no one like him. Not only is God's love unique, but it's also unending. It's because he says that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have what? Everlasting life. His love for us is unending. The Bible says that there's nothing that can separate us from God's love. It is unending. It is God's love, my friends, that was displayed on Good Friday. His love was unconditional. His love for us is unique, but his love for us is unending. Because God gave his only son. What manner of love is this that a man would lay down his life for his friends? What's so special about Good Friday, my friends? What's so good about Good Friday? It's good because Jesus gave his life for us. It was on Calvary <laughs> where they hung him high and they stretched him wide. It was on Calvary 
where they pierced him in the side. What's so good about Good Friday? It was on that cross where they put a crown of thorns on his head and blood came streaming down. What's so good about Good Friday? On that cross, my friends, he cried out and said, it is finished. Hallelujah. What's so good about Good Friday? Is that when he died on that cross, they took him down off of that cross and placed him in a borrowed tomb. What's so good about Good Friday is that Sunday is coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody give him praise in the house today. Father, we thank you tonight. Thank you so much for demonstrating your love toward us and that you gave your only son that we might have a right to the tree of life. And what is our response to Good Friday? It is to believe. It is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord of our lives. God, we thank you. It's in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen.
Have a seat real quick, folks. I want to thank you for coming, spending your evening with us as we've gathered to worship a risen king. You'll notice that tonight as we've, we've sang and as we've prayed and as we've spoken, we're, we're not sad. We're excited. We're joy-filled and we're joyful. We serve a risen, resurrected King Jesus, a king says, whosoever believes in me. Are you the whosoever? Are you the whosoever? Because if you are, there's a promise of everlasting, of eternal life with God. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for this time of gathering, of encouragement, of blessing, of worship. God, thank you 
for the words, for the music, for the songs, for the prayers, for your word, for scripture. God, thank you for this good, good Friday. God, thank you for your son. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you that he is all we need, all that we ever need. God, thank you for you bring joy and you bring love and you bring hope. God, thank you. Thank you for Jesus. It's in Christ's name I pray. Amen.
you so much for worshiping with us. You're dismissed. Sunday.